day 40. Today we do get some of the mulch spread, but we are going to start off with a recap of the peonies and irises. This is at the beginning of the summer. Um, the irises and the peonies are starting to come up from last year. Uh, we did plant some new ones that are the more yellow looking ones or the new ones. The ones that are more green are from last year that are coming back. Most of the um, weeds have been pulled out of this area at this point. Not all of them, but most of them started with the ones that were around the plants just so they would have a better foothold to grow. So right here is where I was leaving off. There's the grass that still needs to come out. There's a peony bush there on the right, two or three in front of me. There's hard, they're harder to see right here because I haven't pulled all the grass. Okay, here's a few weeks later. You can see that they, the greenage has, the greenery has really increased. There are starting to be some little buds. The, these are the, going to be the purple ones of the irises, little buds. Um, the little ants on my peony. Actually, I've always heard that the ants are good for your peony. Um, one thing that I've noticed since planting peonies in my garden, I do not get ants in my house in the spring. We used to always struggle with, and all of my neighbors talk about that, you know, every spring they're, they get overran with ants and uh, they, they do eventually go away when summer hits, but since I've had peonies out here in the front yard, I haven't had the ant problem. So, this is a big difference from just a couple weeks ago. They're, they are much bigger and greener and filling out and starting to get little flowers budding out. These are going to be the white ones. And then like I said, um, if you get have peonies and there's ants on them, don't spray trying to kill the ants. Um, you're more likely to kill your peony plant than to really do much about the ants. So the irises are really starting to have little buds. This area all looks really good. You can tell the big difference between last year's irises and the new growth. I'm not even sure what that is, but I end up moving that over to the new flower bed in the middle. Here's another um, peony that's not even come up yet. As you can see, the little purple nubs there, that will grow into one of these great big giant bushes. We'll just have to leave that alone, and, um, and it will be as big. See, the, the, the root ball is really big. It might need a little extra dirt on it, but they don't require a whole lot of dirt on top of the roots. So there's another little one that's going to get bigger. And there are the flowers in the planter. And you notice in the next picture how, how full that's becoming too. So there we go. There's even more. There they are all bloomed out. Um, as you can, it just looks so much fuller and bigger. Those are fuller and bigger. And all the plumes, that's beautiful. And this is today. Today is actually a super sunny hot day and I don't know if you remember yesterday these didn't look so hot in my before and after video. Um, the um, This is what I'm calling my mixed bed just because I have a whole big mix of everything in it. Some of them are annuals, and some of them are perennials. These back here are the perennials, mostly. Um, that's going to be a perennial. That will come up every year. Look how full the planter is, and all of these peony bushes um, all look budded out. That is a Mother's Day gift that I think is very pretty. I would like to have another one on this side. So today, the main thing that we're going to do is I've got that swing kind of in an odd spot just because to get it out of my way for a minute while my husband was using the tractor. I'm going to spread this mulch out to drown out the weeds. There we go. Finished product. I do plan to paint the swing, touch up the white areas, and make the rest of it white as well. 
Um, this is the finished product so far. I hope to get another pillar to make three on each side instead of just three and two. Thank you so much for watching and wait to see what's in store for us tomorrow.